This morning I want to read from uh, the book of Mark, chapter 2, verse 1 to 12. I want to talk a little on, uh, or preach a little on, the results of putting a hole in the roof. Mark chapter uh, 2 verse 1 to 12. Let us stand for the reading of God's word if you could. <clears throat> the Bible said again he entered into Capernaum after some days and it was noise that he was in the house and straightway many gathered together in so much that there was no room for him room to receive them no not so much as about the door and he preached the word unto them and they come unto him bringing one sick of the palsy which was born of four and when they could not come nigh unto him for the press they uncovered the roof where he was and when they had broken it up they let down the bed where the sick of the palsy lay when Jesus saw their faith he said unto the sick of the palsy Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. But there were certain of the scribes sitting there and reasoning in their hearts. Why does this man thus speak blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God only? And immediately when Jesus perceived in the spirit that they saw reason within themselves, he said unto them, Why reason ye these things in your hearts? Well, it is easier to say to the sick of the palsy, Thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise, and take up thy bed, and walk, but that ye may know that the Son of Man had power on earth to forgive sins. He saith unto the sick of the palsy, I say unto thee, Arise, and take up thy bed, and go thy way into thine house. And immediately he arose, took up the bed, and went forth, before them all, and so much that they were all amazed, and glorified God, saying, we never saw it on this fashion. Father God, we thank you for your goodness, Lord, this morning. Pray that you'll hide me behind the cross. Amen. Father, this is a great church with great gathering, Lord, today. And Lord, only you can speak through me, Lord, today. We will give you the glory, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may take a seat this morning. We want to see here the results of putting a hole in the roof. Amen. May, may I say that Jesus Christ is still the Savior of mankind's soul. Amen. He is the anointed one. He is the creator. Amen. The Bible declared that in John chapter 1. said that Jesus Christ is the creator. But here in Capernaum, we see that Jesus Christ entered again and, and he entered in a certain house. This was an unknown house. And uh, there we see that uh, Jesus Christ, uh, he was a central of attraction in that house. May I say this morning, in this house, Jesus is the central of attraction. Amen. 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 And he's the central of attraction in our lives. Without him, we are nothing. Amen. The Bible says, in him, we live and we breathe. Yeah. Amen. We have our being. Amen. Amen. Here in this portion of scripture here, we see that uh, the Bible say here that there was a, a palsy, a, a man that he was sick with palsy. Palsy is a brain infection that can be by birth. Or after birth. Thank God that he holds our future in his hands. Amen. It can be after birth in grown human. That causes weakness. Causes to be paralyzed. But in here Jesus Christ. Uh, as he entered into Capernaum. And he entered into this house. That house was full with people. And there was a great noise in that house. Amen. I believe there was worshiping going on in that house. 
I believe everybody was focusing on Jesus. They were shouting, Amen. I believe there were people at the doors and windows in that house. But boy, uh, there was a great need for this palsy to get into that house. How will we get him into that house? How we, will we get him to Jesus? Well, the Bible say, you know, uh, in Proverbs chapter 11, verse 31, the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that winneth soul is wise. Amen. The business of Christians is still to be soul winners. Amen. Not everyone can be a preacher or pastor, but everyone should be a soul winner. Amen. Winning somebody to Jesus Christ. Can somebody say amen right there? Amen. Right. Amen. The thing here that we see is uh, the Bible said that this Paul, see, he was born of four. This four friends, I assume, uh, are, are four that care for this policy. They know that Jesus is the answer. May I say that Jesus is still the answer today? Without him, we are nothing. He is still the answer. Our answer is not in the government, it's not in the scientists, amen. Right. amen. It's not in our money, amen, amen. but in Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, uh, as they began to carry this sick man to Jesus Christ, they couldn't find a way. It was hard to get through that crowd. I wonder if anyone from that crowd saw the sick palsy. I wonder if anyone from that crowd saw the burden that uh, those four uh, bear to bring that one to Jesus Christ. I wonder if anyone even cared. They were doing the right thing, uh, worshiping. They were in that house, amen. It was a place of comfort. Because Jesus was there. But these four did not return back home. They said we have to find a way. There must be a way that we can take this man to Jesus. We heard about this Jesus. How he healed the sick. How he raised the dead. How he caused the blind to see. We heard all about the goodness of Jesus Christ. And whatever it caused us, uh, we must do that today. Amen. Today must be the day. We will not wait outside of this building until Jesus finishes business. There must be a way to bring this one to Christ. Amen. Amen. We see the inside crowd, the full house, of sick, the palsy. He was helpless. He was hurting. He was hopeless. He was outside of that crowd. He couldn't contribute to the internal fellowship. May I say today as, as we sit here, as we got here, it's a wonderful thing that we know Jesus Christ. But there's a hurting world out there. There's a hopeless world out there. Amen. There's a helpless world out there. And you and I have the answer. It's to lead them to Jesus Christ. But how can we do that? These four... We see that they had to be concerned. Amen. Yep. They had to be caring. Yep. It had to be that this four had some compassion. Sure. Right. But they were committed. Yeah. We must get this man to Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. And you know what they did? They said, we're going to put a hole on this roof. Now Jesus knew all about it. Probably Jesus is the one that he probably organized, amen, that gathering there with his disciples. He knew everything. But he allowed that because he wanted 
us to learn something Amen. about being committed to bring one to Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 And, and uh, the, uh, the four, they, boy, they went there and probably they, they got them some ladder, amen. They made some ladder probably out of woods, amen, uh, and, and so on. And, and they climb up on that roof. Back in those days, the roof will be flat, amen, uh, uh, and very hard. And, and boy, they, they get them some pickaxe and so forth and probably some sledgehammer. Hammer, they, there was no electrical tools back in those days, amen. And boy, they start to hit on that roof, amen. And as they start to hit on that roof, uh, everybody there was so much noise in that house that they didn't even see the saw the dust coming down. But Jesus knew it. Amen. And boy, they, they make, made a little hole in that roof. And they let down that man. And Jesus was well pleased. Amen. He was well pleased because of their faith and their commitment. Amen. And let me tell you, it cost them something to break that roof, to make a hole on that roof. Right. And it will cost them something to fix it. Sure. Right. I listen this morning. A long, a long time ago, if we are going to bring men, women, and children to Jesus Christ, it will cause us something. Amen. It caused God something. Amen. Those men put a hole on that roof that day. But may I say, God put a roof, a, a hole in heaven. Amen. That Jesus, he was already in heaven. But he said, I will go. Yeah. I'll go and I'll die for this sin and show them how much we love them. Amen. Amen. It caused God to put the Holy Bible say, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Yeah. You know the verse? Hey. I think in the Old Testament, Rahab, she put a hole she put her life on the line yeah. to secure the two spies, Joshua and Caleb. Yeah. You know what? She put a hole in her repetition Ooh. against the security of Jericho, our listening church. Yeah. Yeah. She didn't matter what the government say. Hey, man. She know that she will fulfill. Hey, man. What God desired for her to fulfill in her life. Yeah. It doesn't matter what the government say out there. I will secure these men. These are the men of God. Amen. And they are going to bring the people of God this way. I think about a widow in Elijah's days. Elijah told her, you know, to go and bake him a, a cake and so on. And, and she said, this is all I have. And and boy, she, you know, she went there and obeyed the man of God and she put a hole in her meal barrel. Yeah. But it never ran out. Yeah. You see, sometimes we think in our life where, when we are doing something for God, we will limit ourselves. Yeah. But we are serving an unlimited God. Right. Yeah. I thank God for those churches and Christians that give to missions and give to the work of God. Amen. You can never outgive God. Right. Because God said he will give it back to you. I'll listen this morning. Right. I'm heading somewhere this morning, this message. There are lost people all over this world. I'm a missionary, kind of bring a missionary message this morning. But let me say, the same things that you expect of a mission, missionary, the same thing God expects of you. Are right. you listening? There are lost people all over this place out of these walls. Right. Hey, Jesus is inside. Worship is going on. But there are people out there walking all over and they are heading to hell. And Jesus needs someone who will be committed to go. And as every Christian, duty, amen, is a command given to us. May I say, most time we, that including me, in our giving, we give God spare time and pocket changes. 
our little leftovers we give him. Are you listening, church? God give you a job or a business. Let me, God expect that you use that to bring men to him. Are you listening, church? Let me say this morning, are you willing to put a hole in your church to draw souls to Jesus Christ? Are you willing to put a hole in your house to bring man to Jesus Christ? Most time we want to secure everything. Amen. We want to secure our future. We want to secure our family. Nothing wrong with that. Amen. But the first, one of the greatest things is to bring men to Jesus Christ. Bring them to Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Are we willing to put a hole in our bank account? Come on, I'm preaching this morning. So that we can give to missions to draw, to, to, to see souls get saved. Are we willing to put a hole in our wallet? I'm preaching this morning. Jesus Christ was well pleased with a widow when she brought her might there in the New Testament. And he said, you know what, this woman gave all. And she gave more than everyone that was gathered there that day. Amen. Let me say this morning that whether we are in the will of God or out of the will of God, there will still be a hole in your life. And I rather it be a, a hole in my life that, hey, I'm giving, I'm, I, I, I'm serving the Lord, I'm doing this thing for Jesus Christ, amen. And I feel it, amen. Listen, if, if, we, are, if we are given in, in, our, in our missionary giving, amen, and, and let me say it, to, to bring souls to Jesus Christ, and it doesn't cost you anything, you just do it, amen, because that is, your, that is based on your extra what you have, you are not really doing it. Right. Are you listening? The Bible says, you know, in Haggai, the Bible says that these people, amen, they forsake my house, amen. And uh, listen, uh, they sow much, but whatever they sow, they are putting it in a bag with hole. Amen. I rather know that I'm putting it to heaven. Amen. I think about Jesus Christ. He came and he suffered and died for us. Amen. To draw us, on, uh, to draw sinners unto him. Souls can get saved. You know, Jesus has some holes in his feet and his hands. Our right, listening church, amen. Uh, uh, when he come back, we'll see those holes, amen. This what, what I'm, what I want to say here this morning is that it will cost us something to draw souls to Jesus Christ. Our right, listening, and most time is in our given life. Uh, uh, Luke 6, 38 said, Give and it shall be given unto you. Amen. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together, and running over shall man give into your bosom. Right. For with the same measure that you made with all, it shall be measured to, right. to your gain. Right. One preacher said it like this. He said, when you give God a spoonful, he will give you a shovel full. <laughs> when you give him a shovel full, he gives you a wheelbarrow full. When you give him a wheelbarrow full, he gives you a dump truck full. Hey, sometime in our life, in our, in our time, and in our, in our treasure, there must be a hole so we can bring man to Jesus Christ. And God will see those sacrifices. The Bible says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, yeah. holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Right. Amen. Are we doing a reasonable service unto him? Oh, mercy. <clears throat> Amen. I think, about, I think about Isaac in the Bible. He went down there, and he and his men, and they started digging in the ground. You see, there had to be a commitment. And as they dig out all that dirt from that ground, all they can see is emptiness. 
an empty hole, but they continue digging. And very soon that water starts springing. And it overflowed that whole bank there. You know, we have to continue digging. We have to continue as long as it costs us something to draw souls to Jesus Christ. This is a little message I want to bring to us this morning. God richly bless you. Pastor. Did you know that IBC is now on iTunes, TuneIn, SoundCloud, and Google Play? Head on over to your podcast provider and subscribe today. And as always, thanks for listening.